Hello guys and thank you for joining me in the studio today. Today we are going to be working on our mythical creature planters. They're going to be in the same video but you guys if you got the dragon you can fast forward. We're going to start with our unicorn first. So these are mini planters that I did but we're going to just make a larger version of these. Okay let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, so as I mentioned before, we are gonna go ahead and get started working on our unicorn planter. So I'm just gonna go over what's in your kit. Your kit should have a three and a half inch planter, a terracotta pot, and you have your paints. You are also going to have a foam brush, which is what we're gonna put on our base color with. And you're gonna have your little detailed round brush, you also have your unicorn ears, the inside of the ear, and your horn. And you guys also got glue, soil, and seeds in your kit for putting all that stuff on and also for planting your seeds when you are done with painting your pot. So what we're gonna do with our unicorn first is we're going to go ahead and paint it white. So if you guys can take your foam brush and your white paint, we're just gonna go ahead and cover that completely with our white. While your pot is drying, we're gonna go ahead and work on gluing together our ears. So you're gonna take your white pieces and your pink piece and we're just gonna glue that right on top of each other. Use your little detail brush to kind of put some glue right on the back of that pink piece. You want to kind of put it towards the top because when we glue our ears in our pot they're going to be kind of sticking out like this so you can move it down a little bit just so it touches just right there the top of the pot because that's really where we want our ears to be Once your pot is dry, and it shouldn't take too long, uh, probably approximately the time that you were gluing your ears together, we're gonna go ahead and also just glue our ears onto the pot. So what you wanna start with, our ears and our horn actually. So we probably wanna start with the horn first and kind of get that centered to somewhere that you like. Just kind of going to put glue on the horn with your little detail brush right on the front of it and you're going to stick it inside the pot right on the inner corner there or inside right right on the inside just give it a nice little push on there stick very good because the pot is made of terracotta it's porous so it takes the glue really really well and it sticks but you do have to let it dry for a little while same with the ears just like what we did with the horn take your detail brush with some glue put it right on the bottom of the ear enough glue and your two foam pieces might be sliding around a little bit, but that will eventually dry. And just place that on either side of the horn. And just give it a nice little push on there to make sure it's secured properly. And the same with the second ear.
Now we're going to go ahead and work on our face. So, for the unicorn face, we're going to do our nose and our eyes. And you're going to do that with the black and your detail brush. So you guys want to grab your black. Open that up. And grab your little round brush. So with the nose, the reason why we put it was good that we put the horn on is because our nose is going to sit directly underneath our horn. Just want to take your brush and do kind of like a half circle. That's going to be our nose, our unicorn nose. And then two large holes on there, oval nose, oval holes for noses. That's our unicorn nose. And then we're gonna do our eyes. So for the eyes, you guys can do what you like. You can do them closed or you can do one winking, one open. I'm gonna show you guys just, I'm gonna do one open eye. That's one open eye for a unicorn, and the other one is going to be the winking eye. And then you can put your lashes on. And there your unicorn's got this awesome, adorable face. So once our face is done, we're gonna wash our brush out of the black and we're gonna work on our little flower crown. Okay guys, so we're ready to start working on our little flower crown that I had up here. So we're just gonna use some basic shapes. Um, we're gonna be using our pink, our blue, our light green, and of course the yellow. So you guys can do what you like. Of course, use your creativity but I'm just gonna show you guys how to do some flower shapes. And it's just taking your brush and just making just little flower shapes all around. That's my pink flower. You can do some dots. Cause that looks really pretty. And here's another version of a flower right here. This one's gonna be just three. And when you guys start in with the color, make sure you do everything you want with that particular color because it just makes it easier. little flowers, you can make big flowers. You can make all kinds of shapes.
and beautiful so with the green what we're going to use our green for is our leaves so you guys are just going to put leaf shapes around everywhere so we're going to go ahead and go in here just put some different leaves all around bring in some of that green Can even do some dots with the green kind of put like a little stem on some stuff And with that, we are complete with our unicorn planter. Good job, guys. We're going to go ahead and continue on in the video with our dragon. So stay tuned for that. Hey, guys. So today we are going to be working on our dragon planter. I just want to go ahead and go over what is in your kit for our dragon planter. You got a three and a half inch terracotta pot. You got paints and glue. You got your foam shapes, which should be your horns and the sides of your dragon head. You got a foam brush, which is what we're gonna go ahead and lay on our base color with, and also your detail brush. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on our dragon planter. So first, what we're gonna go ahead and do, guys, is cover our dragon planter in our darker green color with our foam brush and our paint. Okay guys, once our base coat has dried, we're going to go ahead and start gluing on our foam pieces. To our pot so you're gonna need your glue and your detail brush and of course your foam pieces and we're gonna just put some glue right on the front bottom of our horn and find a spot where you want to glue it on you want the horns a little bit off to the side of the head not directly centered on the head. So once you put on that first horn, you could figure out where the other ones, the other one is going to go ahead and go, okay? give it a nice little push right on the inside you guys can see right in there it's okay if the glue is a little bit white in the beginning it's gonna when it dries it's gonna dry clear so next we're gonna use our side pieces so our side pieces we are going to fold them first so if you guys can just take them and fold them just press them And then they're gonna look like this and have a little foot on them so that when you stick them on that part is gonna be flat up against our pot so you're just taking it again and just folding it right on the side just a little fold okay and then you're gonna take your glue and you're gonna place it right on that flat piece that's gonna go right up against our pot and you don't want to overdo it you want to do just a nice thin layer of glue because this glue is super sticky 
remember you want to take your pot have it facing towards you and you want to put your little pieces right at the side that's one Give it a nice press. You might want to hold it for a little while until it has a nice dry on it. And that is our dragon pieces on. And now we're going to go ahead and start on our face. So what we're going to do first on our face is our eyes and our nose. So you're going to go ahead and open up your black. Then we're going to go ahead and work on our eyes and our nose. So once you guys have that on the middle, we're going to first put in our nose. Come to almost the bottom of the pot here. Just gonna dragon's noses are just ovals, large ovals, because they've got to breathe all that awesome fire. That's our nose, and next is our eyes. So our dragon eyes are almond shapes. So from our nose, you're gonna kind of want to go almost directly below our horn, but more towards the middle. And just go up towards the lip of the cup. inside their eye, their pupils are kind of slanted, slitted, just like that. And our dragon's not complete, of course, without our scales. So our scales are gonna be our lighter color green. Since we already did our dark green for our base, our scales are just gonna be our lines done in our lighter color green. So I want you guys to open up that and take your detail brush. And this is the fun part for me because you get to sit here for a little bit and kind of hang out and do the scales. So with the scales, you wanna start up on the lip and just take that lighter green and kind of make some U shapes. Just repeat them. guys have gotten your scale all over your dragon 
you're going to go ahead and work on the eyes. So we're going to put some yellow in our dragon's eyes. And using your detail brush again, and you're just putting it where all that green is. You want to kind of give him that yellow. you can also go ahead and do which will look kind of cool is give him a yellow pupil just put that yellow right in the middle of the eye Once you guys are done painting this, you can go ahead and fill that with the soil and get your seeds in there. And you've got an awesome fire breathing dragon in your garden. So thank you guys so much. We did our unicorn and we did our awesome dragon. Thank you guys so much for joining me in the studio. I hope everybody's staying safe and staying home. And you guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy your spring, enjoy going outside, enjoy doing some planting, okay? Thank you guys.